Thanks for watching The Nine. All right, mortgage rates recently hitting a 20-year high. So what is that doing to the housing market here in Metro Detroit? Associate broker and realtor James Danley joins us now live. Lots of good information. James, thanks for being here. Dean, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so I'm so intrigued by this housing market because we're constantly wondering, is now the time to either buy, sell? Uh, what's your take on what's happening right now? Depends on the price category you're at in your individual situation. So um, I will say this, with interest rate increases, that affects everyone's monthly payments. So um, you know they can either afford a lower priced home or they're paying more per month for the same priced home. Now, if you look at trends from last year to this year, so we, I just looked at third quarter numbers, and so you have to look at each individual market subsect in Metro Detroit to really get a clear picture on where you're at. But for Birmingham, for instance, um, our at median sales price was down just over 6% for the third quarter this year compared to last year. And we sold 20% less homes in that quarter than we did last year. So the market is slowing. It's being forced to a slow because it's less affordable to buy homes on the buyer side. Okay. so. The market is slowing down. Um, is that necessarily a bad thing? Not necessarily because it creates buying opportunities right. at lower price points, uh, depending on where you're at in the market. So I think what we're going to see is the Fed's been very clear they plan on continuing to increase rates. So mm -hmm. right now we're at like 6, 8 to 7% for a 30-year fix, which is very high. Um, and I've, mo most of the lenders I've spoke to recently believe we'll, we'll go over 8%. And the Fed's been pretty clear they're going to keep increasing into next year. So I think that we'll continue to see the market slow as more property comes on market and less sells and goes off. Mm. Um, and then I think that after next year, the Fed will probably taper rates back down and we'll see the market pick back up again. Is it still a good investment when these mortgage rates go up like this? Is it still a good idea to be looking to buy? It depends on where you're at in life, but majority of the time the answer is yes because of all the tax benefits of ownership the equity pay down mm. etc you want to be strategic about where you buy and right now is a good window because i think that with the fundamentals of the marketplace there's still not enough supply of inventory like if you look at metro detroit most people want to live in a walkable community and we're not creating more of that inventory in this local marketplace so those markets are going to sustain value and continue to appreciate over time because mm. that's where the majority of the community wants to live and so um, if you can buy now in the next you know, six to eight months, it's a very good buying opportunity to get a price discount. And then you can always refi and reduce your payment in the future when interest rates come back down. And you think that these interest rates, it's not, this is not a long term interest rate hike. Necessarily. I don't know that that's sustainable. If you look at the fundamentals, which I'm not going to go into because it's off topic, but I don't know how long they can sustain those high interest rates based on the U.S. debt load. So I think that our society is addicted to cheap and free money, and it's the way our financial <laughs> system is set up, unfortunately. Yeah. So at some point, they have to taper those rates back down. Now, maybe we get used to a 5 6% interest rate, but there's no way they're going to keep them at 7 8% for a long duration of time. It doesn't seem sustainable. All right, James. So bottom line, if you are, um, and I know so much so much of these real estate questions depend on are you where are you what kind of mm -hmm. you know house are you looking to buy or sell um, where are you in life are you looking to retire but as we've looked around and, and we have, I've noticed trends in other parts of the country where housing prices are going way down from what we saw this incredible peak when we look at Florida for example during for sure. the pandemic um, so what's the move what's the strategy now as you sit down and you're looking at your family situation um, do you make a move now it d most people I think that right now in the next year is probably a good time to make a move um, because I do think after that price appreciation is going to continue ticking up and so if you can if you can afford to buy now at the interest rates and get a good deal it's probably good timing and with regards to the overall market Metro Detroit's a little different from other international markets like our population is not necessarily expanding mm. but a larger and larger percentage of the population, both retirees and younger 20, 30 somethings, both want to live in the same areas, which are walkable communities. And we really only have a 1% supply for southeastern Michigan. You only have a few small downtowns. So the closer you can get to those downtowns with good schools, that property is going to continue to appreciate over time, and it's going to be a financial benefit to your family. Walkable communities. Walkable communities. That's uh, where the value really is. Correct. So the Birmingham, Royal, the Royal Oak, Oak, Ferndale. Okay. Rochester. Okay. Rochester, yeah. Yep, Plymouth. Uh, those areas are the highest demand, correct? Yeah, man, it is nice. I mean, and like you say, for it to have an active retirement, 
that it's nice to be able to walk to the coffee shop, right? And when you're when you're asking the question about like price depreciation, so you know it's tough because you have to look at every market subsect. So the more rural areas, they'll have further price price declines because there's less demand. Whereas like the high demand walkable communities or the new construction property, for instance, downtown Birmingham, there's really not a price decrease in those market subsects. Whereas the properties that are on high traffic roads, funky floor plans, no basements, they'll have a stronger price correction because there's less demand for that product. So you have to look at the individual market. It's so specific. Good information, James. Thank you. Uh, if you want to uh, more from James, visit liveworksell.com. Thank you. All right.